Is apple cider vinegar really an effective tool for weight loss? That's a great question. In this video, we're gonna talk about apple cider vinegar, is it healthy for you, how it can help you to lose weight, and the proper way to take it. So if you've been following me for a while, you know I use apple cider vinegar in my daily routine in order to increase my fat burning potential, and my metabolism, to help reduce my hunger pangs when I'm fasting, and it's just been a really valuable tool that has helped me be successful with my weight loss journey. If you've watched my video on the 19 benefits, of ACV, you know that it has a ton of benefits. But the question I get asked the most is, how does it help with weight loss? How much should I be taking? How quickly should it be working for my weight loss? So if you're looking to lose weight and you haven't yet added apple cider vinegar to your daily cleanish lifestyle, watch the rest of this video and you're gonna see just how effective apple cider vinegar can be to assist you with your goals. So let's get started. What we all wanna know is how does apple cider vinegar reduce belly fat? I don't know about you, but belly fat is my biggest issue, and it's been a constant problem since I was younger, so I always am focusing on how to reduce belly fat. Really, especially for women, belly fat is a common problem, and it's a big struggle because it's easy to put on and it's hard to lose. Fortunately, apple cider vinegar contains acetic acid, and that can help you reduce belly fat in four different ways. It can help to boost your metabolism. It helps lower your blood sugar, especially when taken at night. It helps reduce the fat storage specifically in your belly. And it helps you to burn more overall body fat by increasing the presence of fat burning genes. So really, ACV is a great tool to help overall reduce your belly fat. Super cool. Obviously, it's not a miracle drug. <laughs> we wanna be having it in addition to part of our cleanish lifestyle. We wanna be focusing on getting exercise and our sleep and our water. But that doesn't mean that ACV doesn't come with this extra benefit. There's actually more that makes ACV really good for weight loss. According to a study published in the Journal of Bioscience, Biotechnology, and Biochemistry, apple cider vinegar can result in effective weight loss after three months or 12 weeks. People in this study took one to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar diluted in water every day, and they lost an average of four pounds during that time. And in this study, a portion of the fat that they were losing was visceral fat, and that is definitely the type of fat that we wanna get rid of, the kind of fat that's difficult to lose and is no good for your body. The subjects in this study also reduced their triglycerides in their blood, which means that they had less chances of having a stroke or heart disease. Another great thing about ACV is that it has very little calories. So so it makes it a really great way to add a lot of flavor to a food or to a drink without adding a ton of sugar or fat or added processed flavors. So it works really well when combined with a healthy meal plan and even with intermittent fasting. But remember, we don't wanna be drinking apple cider vinegar straight. That's not good for your teeth. It's very strong. It does have that acetic acid in it. So we definitely wanna make sure that we are diluting it in water. Apple cider vinegar is a huge help in your digestion as well. So proper digestion means we have the right amount of acids in our stomach to break down the foods that we're consuming so that it gets absorbed, so that we get all the nutrients and our body gets to keep moving like a machine. But a lack of those necessary digestive acids can lead to having digestive issues because our food isn't getting fully broken down. This can lead to bloating and discomfort. But ACV can aid in this process by adding in that acid and allowing our body to better digest our food. Research has clearly established that ACV can actually help to improve your blood glucose levels and even improve your satiety or your ability to feel full while you're eating, especially when combined with complex carbs. So adding that salad dressing to your big salad of tasty complex carbs is gonna not only have the benefit of having all that nutrient, but it's also gonna help you feel fuller if you have apple cider vinegar in your salad dressing. And it's gonna help you to improve your overall blood glucose levels, which is in turn gonna just make your weight loss journey so much easier. So how much should you be taking? When should you be taking it? And what is the best practice for apple cider vinegar consumption? The following are some ways that I found are are the best ways to take ACV properly. You could mix a tablespoon into your salad dressing for a meal, add one tablespoon to a glass of water and stir it up. Remember, we're not wanting to take any shots of it. Having it in water is just as good and you don't risk hurting your teeth or your esophagus. And if you really don't like the flavor of apple cider vinegar, you could add in some raw honey into that and you can just kind of mix it in and have a little bit of a sweetened drink. You can make it into a tonic. I have a whole video on a few different anti-inflammatory 
enjoy drinks that I have apple cider vinegar in, in addition to other anti-inflammatory foods and spices. And I'll link to that video below for you. Or you could spread it into two or three doses throughout the day. The best time to take it is before a meal because it's gonna help you to feel full and it's gonna help you to really prepare your stomach for the food it's gonna get. I've also found ACV to be a great appetite suppressant with my intermittent and fasting. I'll add it to a glass of water while I'm fasting. It does not break a fast. In fact, it increases your fat burning potential and your metabolism while in a fasted state. It's just an overall really good aid with intermittent fasting. And I go into extreme detail on when to be having ACV in my video on when to drink apple cider vinegar. And I recommend you check that out if you're interested. And I will see you in the next video.